what is up my crazy subscriber this is joking john city for today i'm here to bring you guys more black after the multiplayer gameplay hopefully you guys enjoyed this gameplay because i managed to go 71 kills and 11 deaths that was quite of an amazing achievement and also i called in all my kill streaks my uh, little airstrike my chopper you know everything was called in and i ended up racking up 71 kills which is kind of insane especially with this kind of weapon that i'm about to talk to uh, uh, talk to you guys about and uh well the weevil Lately, I've been using it for the past two weeks, and I'm telling you, it's kind of acting like an OP weapon by this point because, you know, compared to my Vesper, compared to my other VMP back in the first few weeks of Black Ops 3, you know, the VMP was OP as fuck, how I used to have it, and then they updated the crap out of that weapon. And then the Vesper, right now, it's kind of letting, letting me down. I don't know what the fuck has happened to, to that SMG, but it's a piece of crap right now. I don't know what the hell happened, but I know the accuracy has gone incredibly down with that weapon. It's just fucking terrible. And then I'm like, all right, I got to switch over to another SMG. This weapon kind of fits for me. So, uh, what's been happening lately? I've been achieving over 50 kills per gameplay on Ground War with the Weevil, and which is good. You know, once you achieve that, I'm pretty, I'm pretty much sure that I'll stick with this weapon most of the time. And you know, sticking with with this weapon, it's gonna increase my KD most of the time. So. Uh, my KD right now has increased from 1.84 to 1.86 with this weapon, and that's a good sign, man. I'm, at least it's showing me some kind of improvement, because in the first week of Black Ops 3, I'm telling you, Vanilla, it was not working at all. I don't know how some people play with this weapon at the beginning, but now it's working after, ever since that update, because the last update in February 2nd uh, pretty much made the weapon a little bit more higher in range, which is good. Uh, it it kind of converted the weapon to an all-around weapon, which is good. It works from medium range to short range and long range. You know, you're pretty much not gonna do crap. But when it comes down to medium range battles, which is mostly in all the maps in Black Ops 3, you always gonna kind of win with because uh, this weapon is kind of is making more damage than usual, which is kind of insane because compared to the stats, this weapon is not supposed to make a lot of damage. And for me right now, how I have it set up, it's working for me. And another thing that's going on also, I wanted to make this weapon look like my P90 from Modern Warfare 3. In Modern Warfare 3, my P90 was beast, man. I ended up going 90, over 90,000 kills with it, and uh, my KD was uh, 1.98, I believe. And um, that was all caused by the P90. It was an insane weapon, the way I had it back in the day, man. Everybody enjoyed it. People followed me for that, and you know, some of my crew members back in the day in Damage Inc. were asking me about my P90. It was kind of an insane, insane time. And, um, you know, th with this weapon, I was trying to compare it to the P90 in the first few days, but I ended up ditching it, p ditching it because uh, I wasn't any good with the weapon. And then, you know, lately I'm like, God damn, this reminds me a lot of my P90 of my Modern Warfare 3 game, you know. And, uh, which is good. You know, at least it's showing me some potential and, you know, I can compare it to one of the, my legendary weapons of back in the day. And, um, you know, that's how I kind of treated it right now. Except, you know, back in Modern Warfare 3, I used to have the Stalker perk, which pretty much is the stock attachment. And um, that's the only difference between this weapon and that P90 weapon that I used to have in Modern Warfare 3. Because the Modern Warfare 3 P90, I had the stock attachment, I mean the stock, the stalker uh, perk, and then it was uh, the attachments were range, silencer, and I believe it was uh, rapid fire. You you had like three attachments allowed into your weapon, and pretty much that made my weapon OP back in MW3. And um, I tried to do the same thing with this weapon, but it didn't work. And then uh, right now, I'm just, I'm just down to three attachments, and it's working a lot better than usual. So uh, the only thing I ditched was the stalker, you know, pretty much attachment. And um, it's still working. It's still working perfectly. As long as it keeps its accuracy a little bit, it's going to work. And that's what, it's been, that's what I've been doing with the weapon. So um, in this whole gameplay, you should be able to see some great confrontations with, uh, with this weapon, with a Weevil. And... Um, you know, I'm respecting the Weevil at this point. I'm respecting it, and it's good to keep your distance. It's good to like take your time most of the time because it's, that's how you're gonna rack up your kills. Instead of going like face to face, like most of the time I did with a Vesper, I'm trying to keep my distance. I'm trying a little bit. Uh, I'm trying to be a little bit more patient, and it is working with the Weevil right now. So, and by the way, another thing about this gameplay, guys, a bonus. I was down by 40 points in this whole gameplay. I'm not sure you guys have noticed it, but in the, in the past, uh, I think it was like like two minutes ago, I was down. 30 points and it was kind of insane I had to like really step it up make sure that the enemy was, was never taking the B flag and I was hoping that my teammates will also respond and they did you know we, we achieved the comeback we were losing like so badly in the halftime so that is it guys I wanted to talk about the Weevil it's kind of OP right now for me and it's, I can compare it to the P90 of MW3 and um, well I'll be bringing up a uh, best class setup for the Weevil in the future so I'll see you guys later and subscribe for more Black Ops 3